The C-17 Globemaster III is the most flexible cargo aircraft to enter the airlift force. The C-17 is capable of rapid strategic delivery of troops and all types of cargo to main operating bases or directly to forward bases in the deployment area. The aircraft can perform tactical airlift and airdrop missions and can transport litters and ambulatory patients during aeromedical evacuations. The inherent flexibility and performance of the C-17 force improve the ability of the total airlift system to fulfill the worldwide air mobility requirements of the United States. The ultimate measure of airlift effectiveness is the ability to rapidly project and sustain an effective combat force close to a potential battle area. Threats to U.S. interests have changed in recent years, and the size and weight of U.S. mechanized firepower and equipment have grown in response to improved capabilities of potential adversaries. This trend has significantly increased air mobility requirements, particularly in the area of large or heavy outsized cargo. As a result, newer and more flexible airlift aircraft are needed to meet potential armed contingencies, peacekeeping or humanitarian missions worldwide. The C-17 is capable of meeting today's demanding airlift missions. Reliability and maintainability are two outstanding benefits of the C-17 system. Current operational requirements impose demanding reliability and maintainability. These requirements include an aircraft mission completion success, probability rate of 92%, only 20 aircraft maintenance man-hours per flying hour and full and partial mission availability rates of 74.7 and 82.5% respectively. The Boeing warranty assures these figures will be met. The C-17 measures 174 feet long. 53 meters with a wingspan of 169 feet, 10 inches, 51.75 meters. The aircraft is powered by four Pratt & Whitney F-117 100 turbofan engines, which are based on the commercial Pratt & Whitney PW2040E used on the Boeing 757. Each engine is rated at 40,440 pounds of thrust and includes thrust reverses that direct the flow of air upward and forward to avoid ingestion of dust and debris. Additionally, thrust reverses provide enough thrust to reverse the aircraft while taxing backwards and create in-flight drag for maximum rate descents. The design characteristics give it the capability to operate into and out of short runways and austere airfields carrying large payloads. Maximum use has been made of commercial off-the-shelf equipment, including Air Force standardized avionics. The aircraft is operated by a crew of three, pilot, co-pilot, and loadmaster, 
reducing manpower requirements, risk exposure, and long-term operating costs. Cargo is loaded onto the C-17 through a large aft ramp and door system that accommodates virtually all of the Army's air transportable equipment, such as a 69-ton M1 Abrams main battle tank, armored vehicles, trucks, and trailers. Additionally, the cargo floor has rollers that can be flipped from a flat floor to accommodate wheeled or tracked vehicles to rollerized conveyors to accommodate palletized cargo. The C-17 is designed to airdrop 102 paratroopers with their accompanying equipment. Maximum payload capacity of the C-17 is 100 and 900 pounds, 77,119 kilograms, and its maximum gross takeoff weight is 585,000 pounds, 265,352 kilograms. With a payload of 164,900 pounds, 74,797 kilograms, and an initial cruise altitude of 28,000 feet, 8,134 meters, the C-17 has an unrefueled range of approximately 2,400 nautical miles. Its cruise speed is approximately 450 knots, chapter 74, Mark. The design of the aircraft, high lift wing, slats, and externally blown flaps, allows it to operate through small, austere airfields. The C-17 can take off and land on runways as short as 3,500 feet, 1,064 meters, and only 90 feet wide, 27.4 meters. Even on such narrow runways, the C-17 can turn around using a three-point star turn and its backing capability. The C-17 is operated by Air Mobility Command from Travis AFB, California, Dover AFB, Delaware, Joint Base Lewis McCord, Washington, Joint Base Charleston, and Joint Base McGuire-Dix, Lakehurst, New Jersey. Pacific Air Forces operate C-17s from Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson, Alaska, and Joint Base Pearl Harbor-Hickam, Hawaii. The Air National Guard operates C-17s from Jackson, Mississippi, Stewart ANG Base, New York, Memphis, Tennessee, Martinsburg, West Virginia, Charlotte, North Carolina. The Air Force Reserve Command operates C-17s at March Air Reserve Base, California, and Wright-Patterson, AFB, Ohio. Air Force Materiel Command has one C-17 on loan from JB Charleston, C to conduct tests at Edwards Maku AFB, California. Air Education and Training Command performs C-17 aircrew training from Altus AFB, Oklahoma.